Paul Stewart Davies and the wonderful original Vandellas. How is everybody? Good, great, great. What time is it over in America? Uh, let's see what time is it now. <laughs> it is 1.22. And you weren't doing interviews like this in the 60s? <laughs> no, nope, not nope. at all. You guys have got some very big news. You have a single coming out on iTunes on the 2nd of April, a very beautiful rendition of Where I Lay My Hat, That's My Home, uh, originally done by Marvin Gaye. Tell us a little bit about the track that you guys recorded together. Well, uh, I recorded the, my lead vocal and the piano in a little town where I live called Darwin, up in the northwest of England. Um, like you say about the uh, modern technology, sent it over to Detroit, and Annette and Rosalind went into a studio over in Detroit and had their back and vocal and sent that part back to me. And uh, it's all been mixed together at Abbey Road Studios in London. Wow, so, uh, Abbey Road Studios, out. that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to get it done, we're going to get it done properly, you know. I might only get to work with these legends once, so... Oh, how did this collaboration come about? Who, who set it up? Whose idea was it? A, a guy called David Bell, who's a very good friend of the Vandellas. Um, I met him at uh, the Butlin Skegness Northern Soul Weekend in September, where I sang with Kim Weston, and I met him in Kim Weston's flat. Um, he took some pictures for me, I kept in touch with him to uh, get the pictures that he took. And we've been chatting since, and we've got so much in common, we were into all the same kinds of music. And he said, you know, I know the Vandellas really well. Uh, Martha and the Vandellas could very easily be Paul and the Vandellas. I'm sure you could wear a frock. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I mean, Annette knows them a lot better than I do, so... So, so what was it like um, to the Vandellas? What, what was it like g having... I don't know, some British guy get in contact with you and say, hey, I want to record um, something that you recorded almost 50 years ago. What was that feeling like? Well, Professor Bell had, him and I talk often. We talk at least once or twice a week uh, over the internet. So mm -hmm. he had told me that he had met Paul. Him and his wife had gone and they had seen him do a show along with a show that Kim Weston was on. And uh, Paul and him got into a conversation, and Paul had mentioned that he loved Marvin Gaye. And uh, that's when he told Paul that he knew the Vandellas personally, and that the, did, did Paul know that the original Van, that the Vandellas sung on Marvin's first songs? And um, he said, and, and then he came up with the idea, wouldn't it be nice if you could do one of Marvin's songs and have the original Vandellas to back you up, you know, and he said Paul was like, wow, that would be <laughs> great, you know. So <laughs> they, decided, they, they decided among the two of them that uh, the first record that we did behind Marvin was Stubborn Kind of Fella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The flip to it is Wherever I Lay My Hat, That's yes, My Home. Yes. But that wasn't a hit over here at all. I don't think anybody over here in the States have even heard it. They never flipped the record over. But we sang it, and we liked it, but they never did anything with it. So, And and actually, that was the only time that we sang it. <laughs> was when we recorded it. So, so that was the last time that you sang the song when you recorded it with Marvin Gaye? Oh, man, We've that never was sang amazing. it on stage with him. I'll never get to meet him, but... What was it like working with him? Oh, it was wonderful. Marvin was like, I mean, he was like an eye catcher. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> was, yes. And it was it was so kind of hard for us even to record behind him because we always had our eyes on Marvin, <laughs> not concentrating on what we were supposed to be singing. <laughs> but he was beautiful, and it was so wonderful to be able to work with him what well, we're so proud of, one thing we can be proud of is, is uh, Marvin didn't dance. And we had to kind of teach him how to get on stage and dance, to do the hitchhike. Do the hitchhike. And, and <laughs> he didn't know how. <laughs> so we had the chance, so we feel get great about that. We were the ones that kind of helped him along as far as his little dancing was concerned. Oh, but he wow. was a beautiful person. He was some, somebody wonderful to know. Oh my God, he's, he's um, made some amazing tracks and so have you. I mean, some of the early stuff from Martha Reeves and the Vandellas is amazing. Some of my favorites, um, Heat Wave and Jimmy Mack, you guys are both on those records. Um, yes, Paul, what's it, what's it like 
you know, working with someone, people like the Vandellas, I mean, that must be amazing for someone like yourself. Um, you know, you're, you're still quite young. Um, what was it like? <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> quite young then. Quite, quite young, young then. Yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was, no, it, it, what I mean, was it like? But what is it like? Because even talking to them now with you, you know, yeah, it's, exactly. it's still like, surreal. It's, um, so it feels like you're going to wake up from a dream. You know, you go, go home and read these books about Motown artists from the 60s who were, you know, some of my heroes, and, you know, and then... Uh, casually come down and do a Skype interview with them. <laughs> I know, <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. I can't believe that <laughs> I'm talking to like you. Even if over the next few years it gets even bigger and I sing with 20, 30 more of them, it'll still feel mad every time I get to speak to them. Um, me and Annette have spoken several times now on the phone and it's still, you know, this is Annette of the band that I'm speaking to. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm I mean, just Annette, that's all. I just... Happen to sing with the <laughs> but I'm, I tell you all the time, Paul, I'm just a net, right? Well, over here in the UK, you are considered an absolute soul legend. And what was it like performing over here? Oh, yeah, we've come over and spent like six weeks at a time over there. But it was because we were, I, I don't think Pestatin is anymore. I think Professor Bell told me Pestatin is not. But we've been to Pestatin and we've been to quite a few of the venues there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, What's that? The Prince well, Royal Albert Hall or something? Mm -hmm. We performed yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, when we were performed there, we were with Martha. We we were performed as Martha and the Vandellas. Yes. Yeah. But uh, there was a couple of times that at one time Annette and I went over as the original Vandellas, and we got a chance to perform. That's when we did for Staten. But years before, we did. Oh, we traveled all over England. We did different venues. As, as the group. So it was, I mean, it was exciting. It was wonderful. And we just love England. I love do. It. I really do. Love it. Yep. Well, if you've performed at Pristatin, you've probably met um, a lot of Northern Soul fans. We are very passionate about the music um, and the records. So what, what, what were your initial thoughts when you saw a Northern Soul fan and how much they, you know, we know a lot that maybe a lot of people wouldn't know about them or a lot of artists wouldn't know about themselves. Well, it's I say it was great, and the most amazing thing once when we did perform, it was like when we sung, it was some song that we sung while we were performing, and everybody started stomping their feet, and I mean, it sounded like, I don't know, that the, it was everybody, I don't, I don't know, it seemed like a tornado or, or <laughs> like a, you know, something, a, a bunch of bulls, running bulls or something, the way they were stomping, but it was fantastic, I mean, it was so exciting, I mean, it was just the way that they accepted us was great, we, we appreciate all the fans over there. Aww. They knew all the words to all the songs. That's amazing. Just, everything so do you reckon maybe in the future you guys are going to come over to the uk and maybe perform with paul we fingers all crossed too. we've all got our fingers crossed we let's all tell double, double. <laughs> <laughs> let's tell the listeners to make a campaign let's get you guys over here as the original vandellas we'll performing with perform. paul stewart we perform you've got to dance <laughs> yeah we'll perform and you dance <laughs> yeah that will okay. Be well, I've got my fingers crossed. I've got my fingers and my toes crossed for you guys, but I'm not going to show yeah. you. I'm not going to yeah. show you my toes. <laughs> um, thank you so much for talking with me. Um, just so the listeners, just to clarify for the listeners, where I lay my hat, that's my home. And Marvin Gaye uh, originally did it. You guys have done a beautiful rendition, and it's out on the second of April. Where can they get it? For the time being, it's going to be available on the download site, so iTunes and Amazon. And iTunes and Amazon. So you guys can go and get that. Um, if you're listening uh, or watching, I really do suggest uh, you do. Hopefully it's going to be playing underneath us talking so that you guys can listen to it and get a little bit of a taste of what it's going to sound like. Do you reckon maybe we could get a couple of, um, maybe like a verse or something just to see what, it's, see what it sounds like for the listeners? Paul, are you going to sing the lead? Yeah. Right, I'll sing the last bit of the song and you can add that. That's my home in after. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy who is always on the road, wherever I lay my hat, that's my home.
you guys have still got it. You got it. Oh, that sounded so beautiful. Wherever I lay my heart, that's my home. That's my home. That's my home.